I'm here at the Abbott booth at CES in Las Vegas to hear more about Abbott's brand new CGM, the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus. It works with tandem pumps. It's going to come out with other pumps. I asked all your questions, so here it is. Mark, thank you so much for talking to me today about the Libre 2 Plus. Before we get to that though, a lot of people are asking, why the Libre 2? Why are we starting with that CGM instead of the Libre 3? Well, that's uh, actually pretty simple. So Libre 2 was around first, and it was uh, we've been working with Tandem for quite some time on integrating the two systems together. So we started with 2 and the 2 Plus sensor, which is, uh, which is now available. And uh, we do have intention of moving towards a modified version of the Freestyle Libre 3 in, in AID integrations as well. Okay. One thing that surprised me was that there is improved low glucose accuracy with this CGM. Right? Like, can you explain to me like what you did there, what that uh, improvement is on the Libre 2 Plus as it relates to the 2 and the 3? Sure, there are some modifications to the sensor that are included in the 2 Plus sensor. We've reduced the level of interference that uh, the sensor readings could be susceptible to. So partially because of that, um, we see some improved clinical performance, especially at the low glucose range. Uh, the system has an MERD of 8.2% overall, uh, the Libre 2 Plus over 15 days. That's, a, that's another neat thing with the Libre 2 Plus sensor. It's uh, for 15 days of use. Okay, and it's first right now announced, it's with Tandem pumps already, yep. I found out from Tandem. What about other pumps? Do you have plans, are you talking to other pumps in the US about bringing the Libre 2 Plus to their system? Sure, we've already talked about integrating with Insulet as well, and uh, we do see bringing uh, the Libre 2 Plus and, and other sensors to, uh, to a number of pump companies within, within the US as well, yep. Okay, and do you see that happening outside the US? Are you talking to companies in Europe and, and elsewhere about it too? Sure, that's exactly true. We already have a product on market in Europe uh, where the Libre 3 is integrated with the Ipsomed pump and the yes. CamDiab algorithm. It's been available for some time there. Okay, and something that excites me about the Libre sensors over the other sensors that exist is the every minute reading. How do you think that that is helping patients have that extra, you know, I guess four minutes of readings that they would get than they would get on other systems? I, I think probably the easiest thing, if they want to see what the glucose reading is doing, they can look at the screen, they can see it updated in real time in, in a minute and see if it's changing, what direction it's moving. But I think the most important bit is that it allows you to, the system to alarm potentially four minutes sooner. So um, if someone is going low, it'll let you know the minute they've gone low, rather than having to wait you know, up to four minutes longer until the glucose reading updated and saw that they were low. Yeah, I mean, from my own experience wearing the Libre 3 for mm -hmm. a few weeks, I found that happening. I, I found that I would get an alert and I was actually wearing another CGM at the time, and I would get an alert minutes before the other one. And, and I really liked that. So I'm excited and hopeful that we'll see minute to minute readings come to really the whole, the whole band of CGMs. Calibrations, mm -hmm. A, are those needed for the new CGM? And B, are there, is, the op is there the opportunity to, to do optional calibrations? So just like all the Freestyle Libre products, the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus is factory calibrated. It doesn't require user calibration. In fact, there is no way to calibrate the system. Now we do this really intentionally because calibration can introduce error into glucose readings. Um, if, you, if there's a little sugar on your finger as you do a, a finger stick for calibration, that could introduce error into the glucose reading. If the system's reading low for uh, anomalously for a, a couple of minutes and you calibrate at that point, subsequently your sensor readings would be high as the system recovered. So we really think that not calibrating the sensor is the safest and best way to do it. And that's why we've spent so much time with our design and manufacturing processes to really allow a calibration-free, a factory calibrated system that doesn't require user calibrations. Okay. And is there a change in warm-up time at all for this CGM? So the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus is the same 60-minute, one-hour warm-up as all of our Freestyle Libre products. Okay, and just to clarify, I mean, for it to obviously be closed loop, the Libre 2 you step to scan, Libre 2 Plus, no more scanning, right? It's automatically... For the Libre 2 Plus, when used with the Tandem system, you scan it with the app to activate the sensor, and then the data is flowing every minute directly from the sensor to the tandem pump, and there is no um, there's no user scanning after that. Yeah. Do you anticipate, with this added minute-by-minute -minute reading, do you see a world where the algorithms we're using with our pumps are acting every minute instead of every five minutes? Do, are you hopeful for that? Is, is Abbott trying to help that make that happen? 
I think there's lots of opportunities to optimize um, AID algorithms. I think using minute by minute glucose is one. You know, we're very excited about the continuous glucose and ketone uh, sensor combined glucose and ketone sensor that we have in development. We think there's opportunities to incorporate the ketone readings within the AID algorithm to help even further optimize insulin delivery. So I think there's lots of improvements that are still left to be made in AID systems. Okay, and with this new CGM, it's an all-in-one device, right? Transmitter sensor, it's, it's one piece you're putting on. Is there the ability to have the old one on, put on a new one, and while the new one's warming up, still get the readings from the old one, or do you have to deactivate the old one to start the warm-up process of the new one? So the way our systems are designed is that when you activate a new sensor, you stop listening to other sensors, and you start listening for the new one. So there is a one-hour warm-up period where um, the, where the continuous glucose readings would not be available. Do you hope to bring the feature of the ability to overlap sensors to your system? Uh, it's something that we've thought about and, uh, and um, are, are evaluating that in future products going forward. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I, ho I hope to see that. Um, app interface, is there a change from either the, the Libre 2 or 3 app for this new for this new one? So when you use the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus with the tandem pump, you are using the tandem app. You're not using the Libre, Libre Link or Libre 2 or Libre 3 app. You're using the tandem app. You're, you're within the tandem ecosystem. Interesting. Okay, I did not know that. That kind of leads to my next question. One thing a lot of users, including myself, like mm -hmm. is the ability to use the Libre LinkUp app to monitor and view someone else's readings. That's available with the Libre, the Libre sensors. With this one, can parents and loved ones, uh, caregivers, view someone's Libre 2 plus CGM readings from afar using the Libre LinkUp app, or does Tandem have an app? So uh, not at launch, they wouldn't be able to use okay. the Libre LinkUp app but we are working with Tandem to, once the data is in Tandem's cloud, to pull it into the LibreView cloud, in which case it would be available to use our Libre LinkUp caregiver app as well. So not an initial launch, but certainly something that we see um, have plans to bring to market. Okay, good to know. I know a lot of parents out there, that's the most important thing for them is to, to be able to see that, so I do hope to see that soon. When it comes to out-of-pocket costs, how does the cost of the Libre 2 Plus compare to the other CGMs in your, in your line? It'll be very uh, comparable to the price of Freestyle Libre 2. Okay, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And it's it's available, Libre 2 Plus, it is available now, right? It is currently available through DMEs. Okay. Um, we have intention of bringing it to a retail pharmacy, but the initial launch is through a DME channel. Okay, and is that US only right now? Uh, it's currently only available in the US, but again, we do intend to um, bring the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus um, to, to other markets as well. Great, awesome. I have one last question for you. Sure. I love using third-party devices. Um, me and my commu the DIY community elsewhere, we found ways to connect our devices to be able to view CGM readings. Mm -hmm. Is Abbott open to working with companies, whether it's Withings, just like this watch I'm wearing, their, their booth's actually right there, you can see it from here. Yes. Um, I love seeing my readings on here. Mm -hmm. Is Abbott open to working with third-party companies to allow to connect your readings, even the Apple Watch, right? I would love to see a Freestyle Libre app on the Apple Watch. Is Abbott looking into that? Are you open to that? So there's certainly lots of ways to collaborate with third parties. Um, we have an API that's actually approved by the FDA, cleared by the FDA, uh, that allows us to send real-time glucose readings to third parties. Um, so we certainly are looking at all of those opportunities, yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much that's for your time. Terrific. It's yeah. amazing. And for more info on the Libre 2 Plus, I interviewed Tandem about what it looks like for users and how to download it. That is already up on my Patreon. Link to that is in the description. Thanks for watching. I've got more coverage at this year's CES. I spoke with Dexcom, I spoke with Tandem. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell for alerts so you know exactly when the videos come out. As always, I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.